Hi fellow parents, welcome to our channel. I'm Amanda with Barretta's on the Loose and if you're here with us today, you're probably getting ready to go on a cruise with your infant or toddler and you might even be feeling anxious because you're not quite sure what to pack and you don't want to forget anything. So we totally understand and we made this video for you. So we're going to share with you a bunch of awesome gadgets that we like to bring for our daughter Madison when we cruise. Now if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button and let's get started. Let's start with stateroom organization. Now it's no secret that the staterooms aren't that big and there aren't very many storage compartments. So one hack that we have is to bring along a clear over the door organizer. Uh, this has 24 compartments, which means that's 24 different items that we can store out of the way off the floor. We put diapers, wipes, diaper bags, brushes, whatever it may be. This is an amazing gadget to keep us organized. Now, it also does not go over the door. So if you didn't know, the walls and ceiling in your stateroom are metal. So we bring along magnetic hooks, which hold up this over the door organizer, as well as jackets, lanyards, hats. Again, keeps things off the floor, keeps things organized, and it's just these two make a world of difference in keeping your stateroom organized. Let's talk about laundry. We all know little ones can get a little messy, so plan on doing laundry at least once during your cruise. We like to bring along this collapsible hamper. It breaks down to be super small, so when not in use or when traveling with it, it's just so tiny, it's out of the way. And that leads me to also make sure you bring some laundry pods and dryer sheets, that way you don't have to spend extra for this on board. The next item our family loves to use to stay organized our packing cubes. Now our family of three each has their own set in our own color and they come in different sizes. This set specifically has four different sizes and we love them because we're able to separate our pants, shirts, shorts, socks, whatever it may be. Um, when packing we like to use the roll method so we'll roll up our items really small, pack them in their own bag, zip it up and then it has this other zipper where you just compress it and it just gets really small so it's great for space saving in your suitcase and on the cruise when you're unpacking you don't even have to unpack these bags you could just stick it right in the drawer and it's already organized so the next stateroom item that we bring not so much for organization but more for sanitary purposes is disinfecting wipes so on the first day of our cruise we go around and we disinfect all of the surfaces remote control tabletops all these surfaces that we know our little one is going to touch because let's face it, they touch everything. So it just makes us feel a little bit cleaner and more sanitary. So disinfecting wipes are a must. Now let's talk about car seats. So obviously car seats are super important, but they are a hassle to have to lug around. So if you can avoid bringing a car seat, leave it at home because you obviously don't need it on the ship. Now the only time you will actually need it is if you are flying into your port city and you're arriving a day or so before embarkation day, you'll need it for to get from airport to hotel and hotel to port. Now there's shuttle companies that may offer a car seat, but you will be paying top dollar. There's also public transportation like light rail, buses that you may consider taking to avoid having to bring a car seat. Now if you are flying in the day of your cruise, you may want to consider booking the Carnival Shuttle. Because it is a big bus, and if your child is under two and not occupying a seat, they can be considered a lap infant, they are not required to be in a car seat, and they're free. So that's something you might want to consider. All right, let's talk about mobility. Now, depending on your child's age, mobility, if they're crawling, walking, or if they're still still, then you might want to consider bringing a stroller. Now, you may or may not use it so much around the ship, but in ports where you know you're going to be doing a lot of walking, having a stroller is super convenient. Um, a small umbrella stroller, not your big jogger if you have one like me, and if it reclines, it can serve as where they nap, as well as where you may do their diaper changes if you're out on the go. So uh, an umbrella stroller is something you might want to consider bringing. That leads me to another option. I love my baby carrier. Now this is the Ergo Baby Omni 360 All Position Baby Carrier, and it has been with us since the infant through now toddler stages. It has the front and the back, and I like to carry our daughter Madison on my back when we're walking out and about if she's not already running around on her own. It also helps when we're at the buffet. Instead of having one hand pushing a stroller and one hand trying to make a plate of food, you have two free hands, baby on back, and you can make your plate of food. It's just super convenient. So honestly, 
we actually use our baby carrier over the stroller. So that is something you may want to consider bringing for sure. Now, if you have a mobile child like we do, another option we recommend just for safety purposes is a backpack with a harness and leash. Now, before we became parents, we swore we would never use a leash backpack for our child, but the reality is we have a child who is fast and always on the go. So this is just something that we use to keep her safe and close to us. So if your child is mobile and fast, a harness backpack is something you might wanna consider. All right, let's move on to the oh so important sleep. Now, if your child is used to sleeping in their own room, not with you, in their own crib, having their own space, we recommend bringing a blackout curtain with those magnetic hooks that we talked about earlier. And if you are requesting a crib from Carnival or bringing your own pack and play or, you know, using the couch, you may consider putting this blackout curtain, you know, as a barrier around them just to separate the space so they don't see you walking around and to keep some consistency if they're already used to sleeping on their own. Now, if your child is napping on the go in their stroller, we recommend having a pair of noise canceling earmuffs. Um, this will help keep them quiet for them and help them sleep if they're used to sleeping without a bunch of noise, as well as a muslin blanket. This is a lightweight blanket. If you're in one of those hotter Caribbean type ports, being able to just cover their stroller and give them some darkness is super helpful to let them get their nap in. The next sleep gadget we recommend is a white noise machine and bonus if you can get one with a nightlight. We love our skip hop combination white noise nightlight machine. We bring it everywhere we go on vacation and it's super helpful for Madison's naps as well as our nighttime sleep. We sleep really well with it. Let's talk about dining gadgets. Now, a very important gadget that we will not dine out in public without is a disposable bib. Now, we love this one because it has stickers to stick to Madison's shirt, and it has a little pocket to catch everything that doesn't make it in her mouth. It makes for a super easy cleanup, and it keeps her clean, so we love our disposable bibs. The next gadget we recommend is a disposable placemat. Now, we love this one because it has stickies on the back, so it sticks to the tabletop. And when Madison was at the age when she would dump out all her food from her bowl, we would just chop up her food and put it directly on the placemat for her to eat off of versus just putting her food on the dirty tabletop that thousands of people have eaten off of. So the disposal placemat just felt way more sanitary and it made for a super easy cleanup. So we definitely recommend disposal placemats and disposal bibs. So other dining gadgets we recommend are bringing your child sippy cups, of course a bottle if they use it, and two of each is what we like to do. We put Madison's water in it and it goes with us everywhere. The next is bowl with lid and eating utensils. Now the only time we use this is when we're in our stateroom and we're giving Madison snacks um, or if we're out you know, on port, again, we give our first snacks in here. This leads me to snacks. Now we gotta keep our little ones happy and they love snacks. So consider you know, purchasing a few of their favorite snacks and keep in mind they have to be sealed and in their original packaging when you board the ship. So the next item we recommend bringing is a sponge or bottle brush. Now we have a sponge that we already cut up and we put soap on it to dry and we store it inside a Ziploc bag. And when we need to clean Madison bowls or her sippy cup, we just wash it in our stateroom bathroom. This leads me to bring some extra Ziploc bags. Now Ziploc bags are amazing for a couple reasons. So if you wanna pack some extra snacks from the buffet, you can do that as well as if you're out on port and your child gets their clothes messy, has an accident, you can throw their outfit in here, throw it in your diaper bag, and you're good to go. Let's talk about diapering. Now, first and foremost, make sure you pack enough diapers or pull-ups to last the duration of your cruise. You can count however many diapers your child goes through per day now, times by how many days you are gonna be on your cruise, and then throw in a bunch of extras because you don't wanna be out at sea needing a diaper. Also, if you're flying into your port city, then we recommend buying your diapers in that city if you have time. Or if you're staying at a hotel, you know, go on Amazon and have your diapers delivered to your hotel. This saves space in your suitcase and you just don't wanna to have to, to fly with a bunch of diapers when that space can be used for other things. And baby wipes, very important, don't forget your baby wipes. Diaper disposal bags. Now you can get a whole pack at the dollar store if your child has a poopy diaper, just throw it in one of these bags in the garbage and it'll keep the smell out of your stateroom. Now, if your child is potty training, you obviously don't want your vacation to interfere with their progress. So we recommend bringing a foldable travel potty seat. 
Uh, this one folds up like this and it sticks to the toilet in the room or out and about. Um, so we definitely recommend bringing a foldable toilet seat to help your child continue with their progress of potty training. While we're on the topic of potty training and your child has to go out on the go, we recommend having these oversized toilet seat covers. You'll just feel better about putting your child on the toilet seat and since they like to hold on, you don't have to worry about them touching that gross toilet seat. This oversized seat is just amazing and you'll just feel better about it. Now the next gadget, if your child is small enough and they actually still stay still for diaper changes, we have this really cool bag that also turns into a diaper bag and has its own changing station. So this is a game changer for changing your little one out on the go. Um, some of the older carnival ships don't have a diaper changing station in their bathrooms. So this is just a really cool gadget that we recommend, again, if your little one will stay put for diaper change. Now let's talk about keeping our little ones clean. So we always bring along some hand sanitizer and hand sanitizing wipes. Madison's at the age where she touches everything. So just being able to clean her hands and disinfect her hands, we feel so much better about it. Now for bathing, some parents like to bring along a collapsible bathtub and they'll bathe their child in it, or they'll use it for water play on the deck or in their balcony. Um, personally, we just bathe with Madison. I'll bathe with her and then I'll pass her off to Justin. He'll get her dressed and then I'll finish my shower. It's just one last thing that we don't have to pack, but some parents love to bring it, so we're leaving it up to you. Another important thing you want to remember to pack for your child is any medicines you may end up needing. So that's, you know, infant Tylenol or Motrin, their multivitamin, teething gel, diaper cream. You don't want to forget any of that because it does cost a lot more on board if you do need it. And you also want to pack along a first aid kit. So we've already put aside, you know, band-aids of different shapes and sizes, alcohol wipes, Neosporin, Madison is mobile. So if she falls and scrapes her knees, we have this handy. So how do we keep our little ones entertained on the ship? Now we know there's not too many carnival-led activities for infants and toddlers. So here are some of the gadgets that we like to bring. Uh, Magnets. Madison loves these animal magnets. She loves to stick them all over the room walls because remember, they are magnetic. We bring some lightweight books. We love this indestructible brand. You know, they're rip proof and they're lightweight, so they come in handy. Flashcards, super fun, and they get to learn on the go. Crayons and a drawing pad. Now, we also ordered those wonder markers, but they're not here yet, and we highly recommend those. We also have this really cool busy book for our toddler. It has pages of activities that they can do. And Madison has a blast just ripping off these little Velcro pieces and putting them back on. Stacking and nesting blocks. Again, they nest so you can pack them in all small, but they also stack and Madison has a blast stacking these and knocking them down, of course. A little doodle pad. Now this one comes with a pen and the nose has a button to erase what was drawn. So, you know, art with easy cleanup. We also bring Madison's tablet, of course the charger, and a pair of headphones. We've already pre-downloaded Madison's favorite shows and movies, and we bring this with us to the MDR. Um, there's times when, you know, her patience is wearing thin, waiting for dinner, so we'll just put on one of her shows, and then we're all happy. Your child's lovey. So we recommend not bringing their absolute favorite lovey just in case it gets lost, but some type of, you know, little lovey that they do like um, is helpful. Now let's talk about water play. If your child is not potty trained, they are not allowed in carnivals, waterworks, or splash pad area. So one recommendation we have is to bring a collapsible bucket and some water toys and just, you know, fill it up with water and let them play on it. And make sure you put a towel down because the deck does get hot. Now, if your child is mobile, having some water shoes so they don't slip on the deck when they're running, and of course, a sun hat to you know, protect their little heads from the sun. We also recommend a small canopy. If your child is not mobile, this will protect them from the sun, and yet they'll still have a good time playing on deck. So these are all the gadgets that we bring with us when we cruise for our daughter, Madison. We hope you took some notes. We hope you learned something new. And if you still have a bunch of questions about cruising with an infant or toddler, we recommend you check out our video linked above, Cruising Carnival with Infants and Toddlers. So have a blast on your cruise. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.